Hey Warren, uh, a pretty good point here at Bath City in the circumstances. How do you feel after that? Absolutely delighted, to be honest. Um, I thought we played very well tonight. I thought, you know, even even uh, when we conceded the goal, which I, I want to look again, but the boys were saying it was a blatant foul. He asked the referee and he says he never followed through, but if he doesn't follow through, the intense are to go and do the kid. Our kid could break his leg. And uh, I'll have to see it, but it looked down at him and fouled to me. But as I said to you, I was really pleased with the fight. Um, the quality as well on uh, on show from us and probably come in a little bit disappointed we didn't win it because, you know, Bath's a very, very good side. I think they've been in the playoffs two of the last three years. Jerry's a great manager, um, you know, and they've got very, very good players. You know, it's a big pitch, which, uh, which you know what, probably suited us as well. Um, but no, from from one that the finish, and you know we're late at the minute because there's a couple of injuries now we've lost, um, and also a player left left today. So you know we're going to have to look at it and try and uh, try and get a few bodies in because you know as I said, you were coming into a busy period with games, and and you know people think that we've got this and we've got that and we have this budget, and we have that, but we don't. We're struggling for bodies at the minute, and we've got to maybe look into the loan market and. Uh, Try and get the right ones in. Might be too early to say. Obviously, we'd lost two big players by half time. Amadou Castrati took a bit of a kicking there in the first half, didn't he? And, and Ali Aziz obviously pulled up as well. Is there any indication early on how they're doing? Yeah, but we've got to assess it really, to be honest. But they felt a little bit tight. And, you know, Amar, Amar's come in. He's got legs, the kid. He's got energy. He wants to run around. You know what Ali gives you? He's, in, he's a goal threat. Um, he's clever. And we've got to assess the injuries now because it's a quick turnaround. But uh, as I said to you, it's one that the. We've got a rest, we've got a journey home now, we've got to make sure that they're they're compressed and uh you know we'll have a look at them over the weekend. Taylor Maloney's making a bit of habit of having having a pop and this one flew in today and it's earned us a point. You must be pleased with his uh, his contribution tonight. Oh, it is, you know, we'll probably change the formation a little bit in the last twenty minutes to go and try and uh, get something in the game and you know, Taylor's one of those players where he's versatile, he's got ability and probably I tell him to shoot a little bit more, but uh, it's a great work. Mary done fantastic out, out wide, you know, committed two players, um, come in the pitch, and that's what I said, he was intelligent with a pass he made. Great touch by Taylor, which we're doing training, you know, touch with your right, hip with your left. And it's a fantastic strike. And the one at the end there, to be honest, was going in, and the deflection took it the other way. Uh, was very, very unlucky, but I can't fault my players. I thought they were absolutely exceptional tonight. Um, played for the club played for the, the shirt and all they wanted was a reaction and you know even if we had lost the game I wouldn't have been too disheartened because I thought that you know you could see we, we had some good performances and uh, what pleased me we look really strong coming in the last closing stages Entering that stage of the season where the games are coming thick and fast in this Christmas period coming up Another game on Tuesday coming up, Farnborough. And obviously, as we said the other day, you get an extra day, but you must be a little bit pleased with that, especially with the, with the boys, you know, having to go that bit extra tonight. No, 100%. I'm going to try and, you know, move the stands back and make our pitch bigger, <laughs> <laughs> to be honest. Uh, but no, look, it, is, it gives us an extra day. Obviously, we, you know, we'll get a look at them tomorrow. We've got to, got to boys, we've got to get the, the sleep tonight, you know, um, get home because it's the only way to recover quickly is a, a good sleep. And, um, you know, we'll assess... Uh, Farnborough tomorrow and um, we'll get back on the bus with your sales and uh, have a look at uh, how we're going to go and um, compete against Farnborough and a word for the fans there was a, a decent smattering of them behind the goal there um, no mean feat coming up here on a Friday evening and uh, they'll be home uh, going home relatively happy with that no probably uh, I think the fans have been brilliant I'm being honest uh, even you know you get here a few negative but as I said this I was talking to Jerry before the game and he says to me Warren he says you're doing a great job here he says and I'm not one of himself, but from where the club was, he said, I've been in it myself. He says, it look where the club was. And now nah, I know fans can have a little bit of this, you know, probably opinions, emotions go, but I thought they were outstanding tonight. That's all they want to see is effort from the boys. I spoke to a couple of them after the game there. And um, I said, as, we've got it in us. It's just we need to be consistent on it. And um, as I said, hopefully they have a, they have a safe journey home and uh, come and get us, come and support us again Tuesday.